All right, everybody. So we made it to country number 26. We're in Oman with my friends Mohammed and Shad. Right. Going on an adventure. I got here um, kind of late last night. We went around to a mall and checked it out. But today we got a full day ahead of us. So we're excited. We're about to go. Here's a little bit of the countryside. Houses. Some more houses. There's plenty of goats yeah, around. So, what'd you say the name of the beach is? Al Sawadi Sawadi. Beach. Al Sawadi Beach. I don't know what this contraption is, but we're about to take off somewhere. So, what are you gonna do now, Carlo? You're about to go up in the sky. That was one of the craziest things I've ever done before. And like, look at this. Y'all, i never seen anything like that before. All right, now me and Muhammad are going to a souk. We're gonna go check out some of the stores over here. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Different types of dates. All the dates. That's so cool. Fish. Dried tobacco and have it in the little the little jars there as well. Just straight up with the pipes. Huh. We're looking for the spices. You can smell you can smell the spices everywhere. There's somewhere around here. Immediately, like you walk in, it just like hits you. That's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Red pepper. Let's 
obviously, because you know, in the States, you just get them like in the little jars, and you just get it, they're imported from everywhere. And here, I bet these spices are so good. Oh, yeah, the fruit. We're getting a mango. We got some mangoes and some other little fruits. Some of these. So, now we're gonna go try these, see how they are. Alright, we got this first fruit. What is this one called? Uh, in Arabic, it's called Bidam. Bidam? Bidam, yeah. Bidam. Just bite into it. Oh, wow. Look how red it is. That's crazy. Different from place to place. Different one. Mm. In the, uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. This one's really good. Yeah, okay. How can you do a bunch of this? It's like a little bitty apple. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got the mango. I'm gonna try this one. Let's just go into it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yummy. That's really good. Completely different change of scenery over here. Look at those mountains. Like, though, that is absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen mountains like this before. So even though it's a desert country, they still fish a lot, and seafood is a really big part of their um, normal diet, I guess. So we're trying a seafood restaurant. I'm gonna try it out. All right, we got the food. A little bit of, there's a snapper. It's got some teeth. Oh yeah, all the rice. And you gotta eat with your hands, so. We're at the Sultan's Palace, uh, which is where one of his many palaces, apparently, is one of the bigger tour spots in Muscat. You can see behind me how big this square, there's a garden over on that side gardens on the sun and then here is the actual palace it's pretty huge actually beautiful colors the blue and the gold and the Oman flag on top it's a fort there's some more Portuguese forts over there back in the day of good old colonization when the Portuguese landed here they decided to start building some ports. It looks really similar to the ones in like Sintra and um, Castelo St. George on top of Lisbon. Very similar designs as those but um, as as we as we see the Omanis prevailed and now they're kind of just kind of there for decoration at the moment. It's pretty cool. Alright, now we're in the more uh, the more popular souk where more in the, lots of more people, lots of tourists around here. There's a cruise drop off right outside, which is pretty much it. What? I'm okay, thank you. Then. It's like people see a camera, they just want to like go with it. It's crazy. There's so much hanging from the ceiling. I feel like I gotta. I gotta duck down and get under all of it. It's really cool though. See, look, these are the traditionals, the traditional daggers of Oman. They're all made of silver. Some cool necklaces and whatnot. I really like the genie lamps. Definitely gonna get one of those. See all the Turkish lamps everywhere. And then, oh, here's the frankincense. Oman is one of the lead producers of frankincense as well. It smells really nice. It smells like incense, almost. Oh, that's what it is. You burn it to make everything smell good. All right. Would you say we had a successful day today? Yeah. I would say so. I think it was a pretty good day in the first day of Oman. We got to see some really cool stuff. Um, and who knows what we'll be up to tomorrow. So stay tuned. I will see you then.